Big change to the Michigan Secretary of State's office is in 2021. Officials say by then they hope to have a third non-binary gender option on driver's licenses and state IDs. News 8's Justin Kolar has a look at why department leaders say this could be life-changing. To some, it's just a letter on a plastic card, your sex on your driver's license. But to others, like the folks here at the Grand Rapids Pride Center, it means validation and potentially something even more. It makes you feel like there's no place for you if there's no acknowledgement that you even exist. Which is why the Michigan Secretary of State is working to see if that non-binary X could mark the spot. I always wondered if that was an option, if X was an option for me, would I do it? And now I know I want to be first in line. Boker identifies as non-binary, a term used to describe people who don't see themselves as male or female. Right now, their driver's licenses don't reflect the reality in which they live. If I checked M or F, I would feel inauthentic, and I would feel though as though I am not conveying who I really am. Misgendering, it's something the Secretary of State soon hopes to avoid. When people can't put what the sex that they live with on their driver's license or their state identification, that leads to confusion, um, as well as harassment and all sorts of other um, problems uh, for those members of our society. The solution is not as easy as simply adding a letter. It's acknowledging a culture. Just having that availability acknowledges us in a really concrete way. Something the state hopes to do soon. We are in the very preliminary stages of exploring whether or not this would be feasible in 2021. 14 other states in the District of Columbia already offer gender neutral IDs. Michigan's decision to do so will be made possible only by pending upgrades to the state's mainframe technology. Upgrades they say could change lives. There are people who, for whom this would change their lives uh, in a significant way and so they are thrilled um, that this is a potential opportunity for down the road. And Boker says it certainly would for them. We don't like to be put in boxes necessarily, but a label that we put on ourselves, uh, a name that we claim, helps us define to others who we are and helps us explain to others who we are. It's something that I'm really happy about. In Grand Rapids, Justin Kolar, News 8.